Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Los Celso card to review today, which I believe is the gameplay objective card. Uh, they've done some pretty decent stuff to him because if we take a look at his in-games, he's 5 foot 10, uh, high, high work rates, left footed, four star skills, three star weak foot. Uh, you obviously need to give this card the shadow chemistry style to work with that high, high work rate uh, because he's actually working with a few good things here and there, right? So he has the finesse shot trait. He has the outside foot shot trait. So if you want to use him um, as a player that could potentially attack from time to time, that could potentially score some opportunities, not necessarily bad to have, right? Uh, In-game attributes. Okay, interesting. So the card's going to have 93 acceleration with 92 for sprint speed. Base card stats for shooting is going to be at a pretty decent area for someone who's mostly going to be playing in the midfield position. 90 shot power is the main thing that I'm looking at here because the shot power being really high is definitely very, very nice to work with. Uh, base card stats for passing, also very good on the card. Uh, he is a player that has a three-star weak foot, but there is an added variable to him because he does uh, have the left foot playing in the left-sided position. So always nice to have. Uh, dribbling, we will be experimenting with it's in like the mid 80s area. If he has like an average body type in the midfield position, I don't mind that. So let's see what it actually is. Lo Celso. Okay, so Lo Celso. Average body type. Okay, so average body type in the mid 80s for dribbling is not bad to work with. On a shadow chemistry style, he's going to have decent defensive stats. The only thing that's going to be low is defensive awareness at a 75, but he does have the high defensive work rates, which is uh, great. Uh, all of that with 90 aggression should be interesting to work with too. Now with him being an upgradable card, as this promo is, guys, uh, he definitely needs some upgrades in certain positions, mainly in the defensive parts of the card. And some physical and pace would definitely be very nice too. But if he does get the upgrade, then he'd actually be a really solid card to use in the midfield position, especially for those uh, Argentinian links, right? So Lo Celso, we are going to be using in the 3-4-1-2 formation, playing him in the... Left center mid position, DePaul. No, Moreno. Moreno's card's actually pretty decent. So we'll use him there. Correa, Icardi, Martinez. No, no. No, no, no. We got to switch some of these stuff here and then do that. Yeah, I would rather do this. Because those guys feel too much like strikers, you know? Moreno is like a midfielder. Got that midfielder feel to him. So yeah, we'll try all those cells in the midfield position. Guys, stay back while attacking. Stay on the edge of the box for the cross. And you will see how he plays in game. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, unlucky. Already went in there with the weak foot. Or the weak foot. <laughs> so used to the right-footed players, eh? He went in there with the left foot and actually got it, but didn't continue there. Almost, almost. Is dribbling for a midfielder? I actually like a lot. By the way, this Spurs kit looks cool in game, Guillaume. I like it. The ground switch here. Press it back. Oh, that first touch. What was that? Correa with the attacking AI. Give me that. Oh, again, Lo Celso. Come on. Yeah, I like his dribbling for a midfielder. Ooh, not a bad strike, eh? That was on a white time strike, too. So I do think that for the meta of the game, I do want that extra acceleration and sprint speed. I've noticed on like four different occasions where it would be very nice if I had a little bit of extra pace on the card for sure. Wow, green time strike on the finesse, but I think he missed it completely there. Korea, I love you. Ooh, with the weak foot pass? Okay. Nice. Good animation for the uh, strike there, too. C 
Korea's attacking AI, man. I'm telling you. I love this card's attacking AI with a passion. With a passion. Los Elso. You think he's going to guess the middle? He's got it, right? No. Okay, okay. We'll take it. Ah, oh, man. Unlucky. Okay. Okay. Cool beans. We'll take that. I mean, listen, he does have the base card stats for shooting. That is a higher percentage strike right there. So, uh, nice little finish. We'll take that. Yeah. So you could see that when he's like initially accelerating and using his sprint speed, that's where I feel like I really want that extra bit of, uh, oh, hello, where I want that extra bit of acceleration and sprint speed. I, I definitely feel it on the card. Well done defensively there, though. Nice. A little skill move. Pass off. That career is always positioned so well, man. I love this card attacking AI. Oh, Celso again. No chance he, he predicts the chip, right? Again? Ah, he do it. He do it. All done. Goes with a weak foot, too. Yeah, he just... I want that upgrade. I want the, the, uh, the pace upgrade with a defense mostly, I would say. Oh, puts pressure on him. We'll take that. Ooh, on a white, too. Long shot doesn't come off too bad there. That's actually pretty decent. Yeah, that works. <laughs> that works. This Moreno card, <clears throat> excuse me, by the way, is a super underrated. Again, if the cards are not full meta, people don't really use them that often, but this card's really sick. Oh my goodness, that would have been nuts if I scored that. You see, just like in a moment like that, you, you could just feel like you really want that pace upgrade. You just feel it for that initial acceleration and movement, you know? See, situations like that, at least he has the high, high work rate to actually track back, regardless of his defensive awareness not being high. But it would be nice if it was higher to work with a high defensive work rate. Ooh, not bad. It, was, uh, it wasn't a dip from the initial shot. It was rising. Rising shots, uh, they, don't work that, they don't work that often, to be honest, in this game. Nice. He's got the physical for it, though. I just, I, it's just the extra pace because that body type, it, it's working out well for that, like that physical defensive capability. I like it. It's just, I need that pace boost. Ah, oh, that was a white one there. He did magnetize himself from the, to the ball there, though. That was good. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Lo Celso card. So guys, uh, we gave him the shadow chemistry style to boost the pace and defense as much as possible on the card. Uh, you definitely notice that you want his pace to be increased a little bit more, right? Um, you feel that initial feel of restriction with the card because of the pace that he has. But the thing is, right, is that because it feels that way, it actually makes him better physically, right? You can tell that when he goes into challenges, when he's going body to body against people, it actually comes off great. But he just needs that pace to work with it because the 90 aggression actually helps it out a lot. But the extra pace is the thing that I noticed that I want the most for this card, right? He also definitely needs a defensive boost because I really want to use this card in a two midfield setup, like in this 3-4-1-2, playing him with the left-footed player or as the left-footed player in that left center mid position on stay back while attacking and just working with that high, high work rate would be great. But he definitely feels like he also needs that defensive boost as well. Like I said, because he has this like physical feel to this card, it's actually really, really helpful when it comes to, you know, going into challenges. But I do think that for the meta of the game, you're going to often find yourself 
you know, in situations where people just kind of like accelerate past him because of the, it's not necessarily that 93 acceleration, 92 sprint speed is bad. It's just that for him, it is like, it, it just feels like he needs that little bit of extra. Uh, the dribbling on the card is perfectly fine. That works really well. This average body type, average body type in the midfield position is perfectly fine because it actually helps you out a lot to have that physical presence playing through the midfield. Uh, the shooting, obviously, if you do get into some goal scoring opportunities, actually comes off great because of the fact that his base card stats is actually set up in a very nice area. So if you guys want to use him um, in your team for a 4 one 2 and 2 or a 4 3 2 one or whatever it is, playing as one of your three midfielders, that's probably going to be the most ideal situation for a card like this. Like probably being as one of the stay back while attacking oriented center mids. That'd be the most ideal thing for a card like this, in my opinion. But yeah, definitely needs the upgrades uh, for sure, especially in those two areas of the cards. Mostly it's mostly going to be in the pace and defense as much as possible. But if he does get those upgrades and it's upgraded properly, then the card will be as usable as possible for the meta of the game. But he def definitely needs those upgrades. Uh, let's see what links this card has to work with, because obviously the Argentinian links is a really big one uh, for sure, especially if you have uh, the Avila cards, definitely a very big one because he's pretty solid to use. Um, yeah, some of these Argentinian links, if you want the Villarreal, but I, I wouldn't recommend the Villarreal stuff. Acuna would be a really, really good link to work with for sure. Correa is probably going to be like the main one, I would say especially since this card is a center mid, so you can easily get the link to the striker position uh, for sure, especially if you're playing like that 4-3-3 with the two CDMs, boom, you just have that one little green link down the middle. Uh, so that would be great to work with too. And he also gets that link to Coughlin too. So uh, it's just a couple of things that you can work with if you actually uh, do want to end up getting the card uh, as a gameplay objective. But yeah, nothing too special as of right now. He definitely is one of those cards that needs those upgrades to be a little bit better for the meta of the game, in my opinion. But um, obviously, if you're good enough at the game, he's going to be... He meets the minimum criteria to be good enough in it, but he's still missing a few things to be way better. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.